Okay, we are back for our last stage of our livestock dog grooming. So here we have, he is bathed. Um, he's been toweled a little bit, but you can see he's, he's still dripping, dripping wet. Um, in this stage, this is a perfect opportunity to go ahead and clip nails. I find that it is easier on them when they have had a bath and some warm water, cold water, doesn't matter. Um, after the bath, their nails are extremely soft. On the light color dogs, it's pretty easy. What you can see here is you can see the quick is the pink part here the white part is what we're going to clip off we don't want to clip into the quick and we're going to do it at an angle Catherine's going to show you how to clip them at an angle you just kind of hold them go up done she'll round the edges see if it'll focus in there she keeps moving perfect we don't want to take any more length we're just kind of rounding that edge for us all right, we're gonna go ahead and do this to all of the nails. We're gonna do them just kind of fast. I'm not gonna go over details. What we'll do is while she's clipping these nails, I'll go over our next stage. So we've just briefly um, towel dried his, his fur, as you can see. Now there's two things um, that I highly recommend. And at this point, this is the prime opportunity to do this because the hair, the follicles, everything is totally open, right? Um, and what we want to do is we want to close them down and we want our dogs to, of course, not have to have this done every week, every month. Where These are working dogs. They don't like to be away from the farm. They don't like to have this done. They don't really want to be messed with like this. They want their pets. They want their, you know, kisses, of course, and they want their food, but they don't. This is not their, their style. This is not their idea of fun. So I really like the, the Magic Sheen hair polish or something like this. You can get it at Tractor Supply. This helps reduce dirt, helps reduce uh, the dust, dirt, grime. Um, it detangles. Um, so it's going to help it aid in getting the, the dog's fiber, uh, well not fiber, fur off of them. Also, um, there's brush sprays. I really love this coconut brush spray. Um, this is made by Isla Dog, and it's got a slight scent to it, but not not too over you know bearing. Um, but with the coconut oil, this is going to soothe skin, um, especially if they're itchy or you know he didn't have any type of fleas or ticks. We looked him over really well. Um, he didn't have any type of hot spots, so this isn't like me for medication. Um, but this is going to help um, keep his skin hydrated, and also this. Is is going to close the the follicles so um, the, it prevents uh, the matting and prevents any type of skin problems so what we'll do is we're just going to douse them down while she was doing that we're just going to give them a good once over while he's still kind of damp she's going to be towel drying you know him a little bit more over here and I'm just going to give him a, a douse of both of these Let me get this other side can we kind of turn them a little bit? Turn around, turn around. Good boy. So this is the one that kind of repels the dirt. Of course, this little monkey needs it. She's gonna spray the brush spray on them. This is gonna help condition. It's all about the condition. People really forget about that. And that's the main part of the grooming process is the conditioning of the fibers. So we've given him in the bath, we've given him a light maintenance condition also. We don't want nothing too heavy to weigh his coat down. All right. So he is sprayed. So this next part, um, we've already kind of gone over how to use the high velocity. Um, so we're not going to, you know, make y'all wait through all of that. We're, we're going to use the high velocity dryer and we're going to blow them dry. Um, and I'll come back on the video and go over uh, brushes and different things like that. So right now, we're going to dry Mr. Hodor. Good boy, and we'll come back. Thanks.